I love you, baby CJ. What's up, you guys? This is Mama Cece and baby CJ checking in. How are you? Say hi. Say hi. Well, today's video is just going to be a mukbang, and it's in collaboration with a, another YouTuber. Her YouTube channel is called Wit Takers Way. I'll leave a link in the description box. But today's video is just going to be a mukbang, and we're going to be discussing the topic of how to relieve stress as a mom. Because we know being a mom, whether you're a new, new mom, or you already have kids, or you have multiple kids, you definitely need to find a way to de-stress and these are the techniques that I find that help me the best that I think will benefit a lot of women out there who need time for themselves. So today's mukbang is courtesy of Wendy's. I like to get Wendy's food because it's fresh, it's made from pure ingredients and it's really healthy compared to a lot of other restaurants out there. So I have a fry, french fry, a new chicken sandwich that they have, and then I got some extra chicken nuggets for CJ. So in his kids' meal, he has chicken nuggets. And then they gave him a art project that he can work on, french fries. For drinks, I have water, help keep my skin, um, skin clear, and then for him, I just have some milk. And so they do have a new chicken sandwich. It's a maple bacon um, and it's on a like croissant type of bun. And I wanted to try out the croissant bun because I love croissants. And I told them don't put any bacon on it, which I'm really glad that they didn't. So, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So one of the things that I want to say, you gotta eat first. One of the things that I think that helps relieve stress is to read. And lately I've been reading a couple of books off of Audible. Um, and it's basically an app that reads you the book and I listen to it on my way to work and on my way home from work. I do also have a couple of like paperback books that I also read. The current book that I'm reading right now is Finding Your Purpose by Les Brown. Another one I read was uh, Michelle Obama's current biography. The Alchemist is a pretty good book about lessons. It wasn't really my favorite book, but it's a good book to teach you lessons in life. Reading for yourself and also reading to your kids is a good way to de-stress and just relax. When I sit down, CJ knows to just plop right in my lap and we just get to reading. So let's go ahead and see how this new sandwich tastes. It has like a honey glaze on it. And then it has Asiago cheese, and then I have the home style chicken. And then obviously you have the um, croissant type bun. pretty good but I really like the the softness of the uh, croissant bread it's really good I definitely recommend this I definitely recommend um, getting lunch or dinner from Wendy's so another way to de-stress I find is just clean cleaning actually helps me to take my mind off stuff when I'm mad or I have a lot of things to think about I can only think about cleaning in that moment and when I'm cleaning I try to set a time limit so I'm not doing it all day long but just cleaning the bathroom the kitchen doing laundry 
is a stress reliever. For some people that might be stressful, but for me, it helps me to take my mind off of stuff, so I like to clean. I don't actually like to clean, but I clean and it helps me to, you know, relax and not be so stressful. Mmm, is it good? I got you some more chicken nuggets. Here you go. Okay, so another way to de stress is to work out. Anytime I go to the gym or just I work out in my home, it helps me to take my mind off of stuff and it puts me in a really good mood because I know I'm trying to achieve a goal. Going to the gym, getting away from home and just, you know, concentrate on my goals of doing 10 reps or 3 reps of 10 or just working on my upper body or my lower body and just meeting my own personal goals getting on that treadmill and jogging everything out, sweating everything out is a great stress reliever. And even if you have to do it at home, you're concentrating on working on yourself. And that's one thing that I like about it. Now they do have exercises out there that you can do with your kids. I haven't tried anything like that, but if you're unable to get to the gym, you can try working out at home and you can also incorporate your kids into it as well. Mmm. Yum, yum. The honey sauce that they use on the sandwich is actually really good. You want some milk now? Okay, you can have a little bit of milk. I don't like to give him his drink before he finishes all his food because, as you moms out there know, kids like to drink either their juice or water all up before they even eat their food. So he can get a couple of sips. Sip, sip. <laughs> eat. You gotta eat your food. So my next tip for trying to de-stress is obviously going to get a massage if you have the luxury to do that. I know I don't really have the luxury to do that, but if you do, go and get a massage. That's definitely an easy way to de-stress. Um, I know at the gym they have a steam room, so if you have the time, definitely check out the steam room in your gym if they have one. Okay, another way to de-stress is to completely just leave your home and go out and do whatever it is that you want to do, whether it be going to get a massage or even just going to get your nails done or a pedicure done. I know when you have kids, you definitely want to make time for your relationship and you definitely want to make time for your kids, but you also want to make time for yourself as well. So if you're married and you feel like you need to, you know, de-stress, the best advice I can offer to you is to throw something in a crock pot, get your home at least halfway decent so it's not too messy, and then just leave. Tell your husband, I'm going out. Tell them where you're going. Tell them that you'll be back in, you know, four hours. Or even utilize the whole day to go out and just be by yourself, eight hours, you know, like an eight hour shift, just to just take care of yourself. Now you can do this either once per week or you can do it once every other week for two times a month or four times a month. Whatever works for you, pick a day, make sure it's a day that's consistent, so say every Thursday, so that your family knows, oh hey, this is mom's day. Mom is going to go out and do what she needs to do or even just going out with a friend to relax and have lunch and just talk about everyday life. So, my the way that I like to relax most of the time is just to go to sleep. If I feel like I really want to go out and do something, I really have it, I already have it set up so CJ will either go to his aunt's house or he'll go to his dad's house or if it's something, you know, long term, then I'll probably drop him off with my my parents. And uh, he usually has a good time. He's a well-mannered kid, so they don't mind watching him. Just make sure your kids are not bad, because if you feel like you need a day out and you want somebody to watch your kids and they're not disciplined, forget about it. 
Okay? Forget about it. Nobody wants to watch your baby kids if they don't know how to act, they don't listen. You're never going to get a mommy day to yourself unless your husband or their father is involved in their life and he's actually willing to watch the kids as you go out. But for a single mom, make sure you, your kids are acting right, okay? No, no bad kids. And I know it's supposed to be a mukbang, but it's kind of hard for me to eat and talk at the same time. So my fries are kind of stale and cold. That's why I'm not really eating them. Definitely take time for yourself. Write in a journal if you have to. We're no good to our families, to our job, to our spouse, to our church, to anyone if we're stressed out and our health is declining because of that. And I don't mean to scare you, but stress kills. It could take your hair out. You could suffer from a stroke. You don't want to be so stressed out that you're breaking out your skin and your hair is falling out. You're turning gray rapidly at a very young age. Are you okay? Are you okay? That's pretty much all that I want to say about this video. Make sure you go ahead and check out Whittaker's Way channel. It's uh, with a lovely couple, Cabernet, and she has her husband and her two beautiful kids. I'll leave the link in the description box below. If you have any ways that you like to de-stress that you think may be beneficial for other moms out there, please share that in the comment section below. I'll be responding to comments. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up on this video, and that's all that I have to say, you guys. You guys take care. Happy Martin Luther King Day out there, and this is Mama Cece and Baby CJ checking out, so we'll see you later. See you soon. Adios, amigos. Yeah, they are kind of cold, aren't they? Cold? Yeah. Sorry.